It's very difficult for me to realize that John has been with the Boston Tops for 13 years. What a long and successful and remarkable and wonderful run. I've always been very pleased that uh, at the time, 13, 14 years ago, the then management of the Boston uh, Symphony uh, came to me, and I was one of the people whose opinions they wanted to, to research about who should take Arthur Fiedler's place, and I did recommend Johnny at the time. I must not have been the only one, there must have been many, because he was the logical choice, and he turned out to be the most amazingly successful one. I've known Johnny for an awfully long time. I mean, uh, we, we spent our youth in the same city, uh, we were rehearsal pianists together, we were arrangers together at the same time, and we started working in movies. Of course, he went on to become America's foremost film composer. Uh, we never really ever worked together on the same project. Well, we did kind of. We did kind of. I think both his score and my score uh, in succession were thrown out of an Anne Margaret uh, film because neither one of us <laughs> was good enough. 